Hi, welcome again to my Louise Ginetta Gallery and Studio YouTube channel. This is the follow-up video to the watercolour and inks technique. There is a beginner's and an intermediate, so if you want to really get the, to grips with this or need a more comprehensive understanding, it's worth having a quick look at those videos first. There are links here. So this part of the demonstration of the watercolour and inks technique is going to have three different parts. It's got the fox and pheasant, the duck doodle which shows water techniques and the woodland ones which is very highly patterned and full of leaves. Each of these videos is going to demonstrate a slightly different technique which when combined gives you a whole plethora of stuff you can play with. I hope you enjoy. Um, and please if you find it useful or you like it please remember to like and subscribe and then you'll get notified when I do other tutorials and demonstrations. And if you have any comments or anything that you would like to be covered in the future, just put it in the comments below and I will do what I can. Today I'm going to be talking about the watercolour and inks technique. Uh, and it's a combination of doing lovely sharp lines, sharp outlines, but using colour within those lines instead of pencil um, so or instead of black ink so that the whole thing sort of jumps about with colour some more. Also it enables a couple of very different mark makings, the very sharp mark making of the pen and ink and the sharp line drawings and the fluidity of um, the watercolour and of in fact the inks themselves as well so that the watercolour, the pigments and the watercolour and inks move really beautifully through the water tension of the watercolour applied or just the water applied. First of all I'm going to talk to you about the fox and pheasant image and in this one I've used the contrast of mark making. There's the sharp lines used on his back for the fur which responds to the contours of his muscles and the contours made by the way the fur runs down his back. So there's one set of movements there. And then there's the others where I have drawn in the ferns and the bracken and used the pigment to merge into these colors. You can create depths with tonal variation um, and you can allow the pigments to mix in really beautiful ways so that the colours really hum. And the second one is the duck doodle, which again uses the sharp lines of the contours of the water and the ducks and the pattern of the ducks, um, and maybe sharp lines falling on the crest of a little wave or eddy in the water but it also uses the way the pigments mix and merge through the water tension to create this lovely fluidity as well, very reminiscent of water. And then the third one is going to be the woodland one, woodlands in summertime, and this one is really dependent on drawing, well they all are a bit, um, but this one, the, all the leaves and the trees are quite defined first in all the different colours and then um, tonal variations and lovely merging of colour allows all this foliage to really come alive with colour. I hope you enjoy and I hope you get something out of it. Please remember to like and subscribe. 